Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Fallen Thing team here. Um, yeah, it's early morning for a YouTube video. Okay, just the duration of it. Alright, as you can see, doing a farming on RuneScape, but I wanted to talk about a few things regarding Yu Gi Oh! Um, so this is mainly going to be a Yu Gi Oh! video. Uh, the RuneScape is just the background of something I'm doing before I go to work. I think I almost never get to do, but anyways, let's get into it. So recently, I uh, bought a booster box of Crossles, um, a Crossles booster box. I know, sounds crazy, right? I bought a booster box after buying a, uh, <laughs> a special edition pack for Crossles. Uh, so essentially, what happened was that uh, I bought like I think it's eight special editions. Uh, no, seven special editions of Crossel, so that's 21 boosters, right? Then I bought another 17, trying to pull a fight for Leo, <laughs> a fight for a sheep. Uh, didn't get, didn't get any of that. But I pulled Bloom Prima, pulled Shiberta, pulled Fred for Chimera, pulled uh, Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Dragon, pulled Chocolate Le Mode. You know, I literally pulled everything except those two cards. Um, I'm a little sad. Also, I bought like four boxes, uh, four uh, special edition boxes of new challenges, but I believe that is already up. Uh, and I did not pull one edge and savers out of the four promo cards or the, uh, the 12 booster packs. A little sad. So, we'll be collecting uh, new challenges and cross souls until we finish that off. Because basically, um, the main cast fluffle deck really really good. You need cheap because cheap is a good opening move because it disables cards on attack or when it's getting attacked. And um yeah, anything else I wanted to bring up? Uh regarding regarding my booster box opening uh for uh DOC and Bosch, um we recorded it at a friend's house but our phone sort of fucked us over with uh, file video video files uh, ma maximum video size reach uh, turning off video turning off recording yeah something like that like we'd be recording for like two three minutes and then the phone tells us that there's too much uh, that there's not enough space on the phone left or whatever so yeah I was just a wee bit disappointed um, Yeah, that's an ugly outfit. Hey. At level 44. Hmm. Reminds me of Scrub, I know. But, anyways. Um, so yeah. No, like, the, 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 the dock box was a complete fucking waste. Didn't even get Sabertooth. I got, I got wings, though. And Red for March. I guess that's all you need from that thing. But I'm really disappointed I didn't pull anything good. I mean, I pulled, uh, like, like, for the, yeah, it's the Blacklisted Soldier thing, right? Yeah, so I pulled a lot of the Super Soldier cards, and I pulled the Super Soldier himself. Rip. Um, anything else I wanted to bring to mind? Oh, yeah, 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 about the, let's see how much time we have left. Oh, we got time, we got time, we got time. Um... Oh my god, what am I supposed to take? Uh, one, two, three, four. So, <laughs> sorry guys, I swear to good last when I'm doing bomb runs. <laughs> you have to forgive me on that much. Uh, it's about 14 board. 14 board. 5 one. Uh, And 10, 8 bochunkleberries. What do you call them? Chunkleberries. Tunnel. Well, oh, alright, so now we are set for, uh, we need an axe, of course. Oh, okay, so uh, for the new um, unboxings that I will be doing, uh, here are the current packs that I plan to open from now on. Well, one, I have to open a, um, what's it called? Fucking, uh, I have to open a new challenges in the crossover booster box. So I really have to get those that have Fluffle Leo, Fluffle Sheep, and uh, Fred for Leo, Fred for Sheep, 
and uh, fucking first movement solo edge and sabers melodious illusions. Like if I could pull, like I've, I have, I really have to pull those cards. Um, if you guys are wondering why, it's just because for the melodious deck, first movement solo is the best card to have as a summoning because it is a special summon. So it instantly procs your monsters of fire. Um, yeah, and then it only allow, it allows you to special summon only melodious monsters for the rest of the turn. You know, which is sort of good. It's sort of an archetype lock, and I like it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, but other than that, let's see uh, what else. Okay, so new challengers. Cross Souls, Clash of Rebellions, uh, Gotta Get the Fluffle Miles, also Tin Cyber Dragon, looks fucking adorable. Um, Shining Victories, and then we'll be collecting, uh, I think it's three Atlantean uh, decks, three Atlantean uh, structure decks, the Tragunity structure deck, uh, Hidden Arsenals 3 and 4, for uh, Tragunities. I really want to try out a Phalanx deck. Yeah, it, it looks like it's a lot of fun. Never played Dragonities before. Really want to try them out though. Oh, Dragons of Legends 1 times 2. And the last boost pack we're going to be buying is uh, Gold Series Free. Found the, found the seller online. So, uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Hey, I like that 20,000 XP draw. And it's gone. Banyo. Hashtag ruining dreams since Donald Trump. Lego boys. Alright. Only a few more trees left. So yeah, pretty much regarding the unboxing, that's that that's all that's all I have to talk about. Uh okay, now I want to talk about a little um a little something else. Uh regarding my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh uh, content on the YouTube channel. Um, I'd been deciding whether or not it was appropriate to run sort of a cringe-based series. Because I have, I have a lot of decks at home, and sometimes, you know, I get bored, and I just do it myself into oblivion. <laughs> yeah, what the needs do nowadays, right? Hey, <laughs> hey, it's getting made. Uh, so yeah, what, what, what I had in mind was the following. Like... I would do random matchups like Crystal Beast versus Melodious, Cyber Dragons versus Elemental Heroes, you know, fun stuff, you know. We're not gonna make Cosmo decks or Kaiju decks. We're we're not gonna be faggots. We're gonna we're gonna play legitly. Um basically. Um and it would just be a fun series I think. Um, I mean, I, that is what I do plan on uploading, so if you guys see any new dueling content on the channel, I can also just upload my adventures on fucking Duel Network. Although, sometimes I just do lead games because I, I do not like playing with faggots, I'll be honest. Like, A, here there are three things that'll make me leave a game in the end. One, I see kaijus. If I see kaijus, I leave. Um, if I'm playing, well, it's kai. Okay, so the decks that I leave against are kaijus, cypherims, exodia, and um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, kaijus, exodia, cypherims. Um, sometimes ba because it's just broken and gay. There's no counter. Anyways, um, da, 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 da. let's see. Uh, the second thing is someone who doesn't know how to play Yu Gi Oh! Like, that just, it's like, fuck off. Like, you, you, you know what? I've let Yu Gi Oh! to have fun, but you, you're the guy that doesn't even know what the fucking word target means. So when my monster says it can't be targeted, and you say destroy, 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 and then you call admin on me because I'm right and you're wrong. Like, <sighs> alright. And the third thing that'll make me leave a game is um, when. Uh, so, okay, to sum it up, we have uh, gay decks. Dumb players, 
And uh, people that take over three minutes to play a card, or people that say bear back every two minutes, I'm like, mate, like, I could have done like 20 duels by the time you fucking made your turn. Like, <laughs> was it really necessary for you to waste my time? No. No, 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 my nigga. Oh, oh, gee. Anyways, uh, no music, as always. You guys sort of know how this, how these videos work. So sorry I can't put music on, because every time I put music on, I'm just going to get copyright strike. Uh, a friend gave me an idea, though, to just put, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on! Oh, my God. You guys do not know the struggle I'm getting for that game. But, um, yeah, a friend gave me an idea to just use video game soundtracks. Because video game soundtracks are not copyrighted. Um, and, uh, you know what? You know, those fucking Japanese weeaboo fucking artists and companies, you know, they can't do shit because most of these things are owned by Nintendo. And Nintendo is, like, the chillest company in the world when it comes to using music. Because, you know, they make good music. So they're like, yeah, we'll share it. No worry, you guys pay enough for the Mario games already. It's like, yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, say there are 200 Mario games, right? Say every Mario game is $40. That's eight grand. Yeah, you never thought of it that way, huh? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Would you spend $8,000 sucking Nintendo's dick? Yep, you would. Yep, you would. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up the video, guys. I hope you enjoy. Please watch till the end. The content's not too cringy, but next videos should have music in them. Assuming I can find the songs. If anything, I'll do the copyright thing all over again. And I'll just put it in the description below. So anyways, enjoy, guys. Love you, guys. Peace, homes.